Hi there, it's Mel. I am a media strategist and the co-founder of Life Planning Media. We create business videos and images that work as a system. We are located in Brisbane, Australia, and we work with other businesses locally and all around the world on their marketing and media production. If you would like to know more about us and what we do, just visit our website. And today I am so excited to be bringing you this ultimate guide on how to present yourself like a pro on camera. In this video, I am going to be sharing with you all my top tips, tricks and techniques for nailing your on-camera game and showcasing your best self. Whether you are a content creator, an entrepreneur, or simply you are looking to improve your video presentation skills, this guide is for you. You will learn everything from how to prep for your shoot, to the best lighting and camera setup, to tips for delivering your message with confidence and charisma. So if you are ready to take your own camera to the next level, grab a notebook, sit back, and get ready to take some serious notes. Let's dive in. The first thing to consider when it comes to presenting yourself like a pro on camera is how you prepare your content. Do you prefer scripting or outlining? Let's explore the pros and cons of each method. Scripting is the traditional way of creating content involving a full script that you can just read during filming. While this ensures a polished delivery, it can be a bit time-consuming. On the other hand, outlining is a quicker and more flexible method. Rather than a full script, you can create an outline of your talking points. This way, you can save time on writing the script. However, recording can take much longer because you make more mistakes this way. Also, it can result in um, forgetting important details or adding too much fluff that doesn't really serve your audience. For now, I assume that you are not a seasoned public speaker, so I would recommend using a teleprompter when making videos. Speaking to camera is different from speaking to a person and your audience attention span is short. By scripting and using a teleprompter, you can avoid all the filler words and complex sentences that can bore and confuse your audience. Using a teleprompter helps deliver the content efficiently without wasting time, especially when you are on a tight schedule or covering lots of material. Scripting also recommended for beginners to ensure a polished delivery, while experienced creators may opt for outlining to save time on pre-production. We are big believers of using a teleprompter, as this way we can focus more on how we deliver the message instead of focusing on what we should say. To deliver scripted content naturally, Practice glancing away from the teleprompter, which makes your audience think that you are considering ideas or thinking about your next line. When writing the script, use your speaking voice. Emphasize appropriate emotions for a better connection with your audience. When it comes to using a teleprompter, there are a few things to keep in mind to ensure a smooth and efficient delivery. Before using the teleprompter, make sure to clean it to avoid any distracting flares or reflections. You can also flag it to prevent unwanted light from hitting the camera lens. When preparing your script, be sure to use big enough letters for easy reading. Prepare the script beforehand and read it out loud. Change any problematic parts and avoid tongue twisters in your script as they can trip up even the most skilled speakers. Using marks on the script can also help the reader with pacing and emphasis. For example, a comma means a stop in the sentence and the quotation mark can mean emphasis. When recording, it's a good idea to have someone else help with the script, checking for any mistakes or misalignments. Your helper can underline any missed parts in the script so you can go back and record them again. It's hard to catch yourself if you make mistake while recording, so having a helper can save you a lot of time and effort during the editing process. Your helper can also help you synchronize with the teleprompter. If you have a remote, they can slow the script down or speed it up the scrolling of the teleprompter based on your pace or speaking. 
This can help you deliver your lines with more confidence and accuracy without having to worry about memorizing them. In addition, your helper can monitor the technical aspects of your presentation, such as the sound quality and lighting, to ensure that everything is working properly. They can also troubleshoot any issues that arise during the presentation, allowing you to focus on delivering your message. Overall, having a helper during a presentation can make a significant difference in your performance and help you deliver a more polished and professional presentation. Whether you are giving a speech, leading a workshop, or presenting a sales pitch, having a trusted helper by your side can give you the confidence and support you need to succeed. Another important factor to consider is energy. Speaking on camera requires more energy than speaking in person, so it's important to ramp up your energy levels in order to keep your audience engaged. This doesn't mean you need to be bouncing off the walls, but it does mean that you should aim to be more energetic and enthusiastic than you might be in a regular conversation. This can be achieved through a combination of vocal inflection, facial expressions, and body language. When it comes to body language, it's important to be aware of how you are presenting yourself on camera. Avoid slouching or hunching over, as this can make you appear less confident and less engaged. Instead, aim to sit or stand up straight with your shoulders back and your head held high. Additionally, be aware of your facial expressions and hand gestures, as these can be powerful tools for conveying emotion and emphasizing key points. Now, let's talk about the technical aspects of your setup. While a phone can be enough for recording, if you want to look more professional, I advise having a full-frame camera with a 24mm or 35mm lens, or a crop frame camera with their equivalent lens. This will help keep the teleprompter close enough to read it easily and avoid squinting or crazy eye movements. Proper lighting is also crucial. Use a large light source, such as an 80 cm softbox positioned 45 degrees in front of you, about 0.5 to 1 meters away from your face. In our studio, we use a Godox SL60 as the key light. To add more visual interest, consider using another light for separation. The separation light should be behind you, pointing at your shoulder and head, separating you from the background and it's visually on the opposite side of the, of the key light. We use another SL60 with a small 60 cm softbox for this purpose. This will create a more dynamic and visually appealing setup. To add the last touch, add the different colored practical light to make the frame more interesting. This can be anything you like, an old stage light or an LED panel or an LED tube that can change its color. If you want to stick to the basics, the most important light you need is the one big key light from 45 degrees from you. When it comes to sound, you want to avoid noise or echoes. Consider using sound panels or a dense blanket in front of you to avoid your voice sounding unprofessional, especially if you are in a big empty room. Using a microphone is a must. Recording sound close to your mouth will immediately increase the quality of your voice. I suggest using a condenser microphone or a lav mic. Both only pick up sounds from close proximity, so you can get rid of most of the echoes and noises immediately. As for a teleprompter, there is a wide range of good ones on the market. When looking for one, make sure it comes with a remote. If you are just using your phone, I suggest buying a Parrot teleprompter that comes with a decent app and a remote. You can just put your phone in it and you, you are ready to go. It can be tricky to use it with a camera though, so in that case, consider buying a larger product such as a newer X12 teleprompter with an RT110 remote. This can be used with up to a 14 inch tablet, so if you think you can't read your phone screen, this is also the way to go. It's worth buying a suitable aluminium tripod. Lastly, make sure to stay hydrated. 
by keeping water on hand during your recording sessions. The list of the items we use for our setup will be provided in the description below the video. Be sure to check it out for more information on the equipment we recommend. Finally, when it comes to delivering your message, it's important to be authentic and genuine. Your audience can tell when you are not being truthful or when you are putting on a false persona, so it's important to be yourself and speak from the heart. This doesn't mean you should be unprofessional or unprepared, but it does mean that you should aim to connect with your audience on a human level and not just as a salesperson or a marketer. In conclusion, presenting yourself like a pro on camera requires a combination of preparation, technique and authenticity. By taking the time to prepare your content using the right equipment and techniques and delivering your message with energy and enthusiasm, you can create engaging and effective on-camera presentations that will resonate with your audience. So go ahead, grab your camera and start practicing your on-camera skills today. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a future video. And if you really liked what you saw, give this video a thumbs up to let me know. By subscribing, you will be the first to know when we release new content and you will also be supporting us in creating more videos like this one. And don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts or ideas for future videos. Thanks again for watching and uh, I will see you in the next one.